Hello everyone. Today we are going to work on a mechanism to define what uh, weapons the character would have by default. So here, if I select the character, you can see. Let's go general. Under default weapons, I can define uh, what gameplay abilities that collect weapons. Here I have defined collect sword and collect shield as the default weapons. So when I play the game, I would have those weapons already equipped, already added to the character. So if I just make it the sword or the shield and play, now you see the red character will only have a sword. Right. So here is the game start after started. Um, uh, this is already replicated, so that's why I have three different windows smaller ones are clients bigger ones are so server bigger one is server so here these white characters have both sword and shield but the red character only got a sword because i removed shield from the default weapons and we can already do attacks and we can unequip so everything is working already right so this is what we are going to work on today and this is actually a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series that i'm working on so you can watch the previous episodes if you like in this playlist i'll leave the link in description below and also you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from my patreon page I'll leave the link to that also in the description below so feel free to check it out you can just not just this project you can download all the projects that I have done once you become a member so yeah let's get back to today's tutorial okay so first in order to define what weapons that I need to have by the time that I start the game, let me open my character and the weapons are given to the character through these gameplay abilities that I have created. For example, this GA collect shield and GA collect sword. So when my character where activate these abilities a shield or a sword will be added to the character so now the way that i am going to implement the default weapons would be defining a way to uh, grant these default collect abilities so that i can just activate them and add the weapons that I want the character to have by default. All right, so here I'll add a new variable, default weapons, and then I'll turn this into a gameplay ability class reference. And this should be an array because I can have more than one weapons by default. So here, let me get some space in under the weapons section and I'll add a custom event at default weapons I can add a comment default weapons now uh, from this default weapons ability I can iterate through them using a for each loop and then I can grant these abilities uh, give ability and activate once I can use this node and give this default weapon abilities 
and activate them so I need to call this let me make this public so if I want I can change the default abilities per character here so that means here I should be able to here default weapons I can modify this now to test this over oh, speaking play okay right here here I'll call add default weapons now by default I'll give the sword GA collect sword and GA collect shield all right now if I play see now all the characters spawned already have the sword and shield but if I press one I can't equip or unequip that's because those abilities are actually given in this collectible here you see these granted abilities GA equip sword and unequip sword this uh, I have uh, given those abilities to the character inside the collectible class but now that I won't implement default weapons this is not a good place to do that so let me copy this and go to collect sword right now here since this uh, GA collect sword is a child of GACLM I think it would be better if I define that function here grant abilities so let me paste that and create a variable grant ability granted abilities now I leave it by def uh, empty by default in this parent class and I'll add a custom event grant abilities right now we should give the abilities to get avatar actor from actor info and get ability system component all right now in the collect sword I need to do this for both collect sword and shield here I'll call grant abilities and plus defaults granted abilities what I need to give is um, equip sword and unequip sword so let me remove it from here So as I said, by default this should have equip sword and unequip. And I need to give the same for the shield as well, just in case if I collect oh it already has equip sword unequip. Oh how did it that already oh this is collect shield this is collect sword granted abilities so I don't have a separate ability to equip the shield because the equip sword equips the shield as well if the character already has a shield all right now in here also I need to oh right this is a child of collect sword so we don't really have to do any change here nice i forgot about that actually okay so now now i should be able to equip the sword press one see equipped press zero unequipped okay and if i go over this sword and shield 
yeah, the character is not going to equip them again because I already got one. Let's, well, as you can see, the clients also got the sword and shield. They can equip them or unequip. Everything replicates perfectly. All right. So that we with this we can stop this episode right here. What's this error? Okay, I'm not sure, but the reason is we need to have a validation check here. Right. Now we should not get any. Errors. Okay, no more errors. All right, we can stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. Updated project files will be available here for the download in Patreon page. Link could be in the description below. And in the next time, let's start working on the actual combat. That would means like now we can already add do the attacks, but I want to implement some AI system so that the opponent will also attack so that we can create a complete combat system because it's a bit hard to uh, test a combat with multiplayer just me testing the game i can't play simultaneously in multiple windows so yeah let's do that next time and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye